going to develop the part of the Colopia Um The current presentation is based on the preliminary information I have had from an investigation that I am doing in this moment uh, about uh, personal experience and the meaning that the collective action has for uh, environmental activists. Um, I am doing bio biographies of that, that interviews that I am doing um, to know about motivations, wishes, expectations that, acti that um, ecological, uh, ecological activists can have. Uh, and of course, concerns about topics as identity, identity human rights. Um, this part of the, of the conference is, is about some shows, some events that, um, that we want to, to discuss in this moment. Eduardo talked about some research results he had with a red Costa Rica collaborator. He took advantage of their res study results to analyze the imaginary and ide ideological construction of the Costa Rica identity. But, but opened the border, the border conflict between Costa Rica and Nicaragua regarding Isla Calero. And I, um, and I am going to develop some events that challenge Costa Rica international imagine as an environment friendly country. It's important to say that during 19th and early 20th centuries in Costa Rica, the state promotes the construction of national identity. This was based on particular interest, interest, primarily those of the oligarchies, that emphasized such foundational needs as egalitarianism, whiteness, and pacifism, as Eduardo said, uh, with the rise of tourist industry in 1980, as one of the main economic sectors, construction of national identity have increasingly emphasized a portrayal of Costa Rica as an ecological urban place. Um, as you can see here, this is Costa Rica. Um, these are the national parks and reservations and reserves that we have in Costa Rica. As you can see, there is a lot of places that are uh, um, conservated. Okay. Um, as I said, recent events reveal tension in this ident identity constru construction that make them ripe for analysis. First, I want to share a speech made by Oscar Arias Sanchez, um, former two-time president of, president of Costa Rica. He, um, in 2007, he said this for the launch of the government initiative, Peace with Nature. He said 59 years ago, Costa Rica declared peace on, on the world abolishing his armed forces, turning the musty rooms of his barracks into vibrant classroom for his children. 20 years ago, the moral force of nation propelled five presidents to sit down at the table and sign an accord that will help all of Central America lay down his arm. Today in Costa Rica and around the world, another type of war is raging and another declaration of peace is necessary. We must declare peace, peace with nature and abolish the forces that destroy it. Okay? This text is very meaningful to me because it shows the particulars of the history of Costa Rica and is based on the myth of pacifism. It also reveals a speech we have trying to raise awareness about caring of nature as if we were full, fully consistent with this image of nature loving country. This speech by Oscar Arias is also a very important meeting point between the aspect that Eduardo and I um, ex are explaining about changes in the identity of Costa Rica. Uh, compared with the construction of national identity that I said about 19 and 20 centuries. Okay. Now I want to ask you, have you ever been in Costa Rica? Or have you ever heard something about this country? Probably, if you have heard something about this country, it has been related with the 
with his bio biodiversity or natural resources. Um, Cuevas points out that, the, that identity has, con has been constructed according to certain characteristics that some groups have established regarding what we should be during a specific historic events. Costa Rica has a well-known policy of natural resources protection because, as stated on Inbaway's app website, protection of natural resources in Costa Rica takes back to its first years of the light. It is 1928, when city halls were responsible for watching over people, forests, and plantations, and later having this institution planting trees and looking after the quality of rivers and water springs. This has led to approximately a 23% of Costa Rica's land area as in protected areas. areas. As I showed, the state motor and land ownership have changed, but tourism, tourism emerged, displacing coffee cultivation and the primary income activity since the 80s. When is here is when inventions of project, the identity discourse worldwide are relevant, portraying Costa Rica as a green country and no artificial ingredients. You can see here some of the, the slogans that um, Costa Rica Costa Rica that we have tried that we have used in Costa Rica to to promote it as a green place and ecological place. Uh, place. As you can see, the Instituto Costa Rica de Turismo um, used the, the slogan that is below Costa Rica, no artificial ingredients. And of course, the initiative I have read about Peace with Nature, that is a governmental initiative of Oscar Reyes president. The image of Costa Rica as a green country is as well supported by the fact that Costa Rica was as Quesada said, the first nation in Latin America to launch a strategy conservation for sustainable development. The government has endorsed the presidential notion is with nation mentioned before, and which focuses on environmental preservation for keeping and recovering ecosystems that allow life in Costa Rica, in her story. The political constitution, Article 50, states that the nation shall look after inhabitants, welfare, inhabitant welfare, by organizing and stimulating the production and the most sustainable distribution of the hermits. Every human being, being has the right to a healthy environment and ecological balance. Therefore, individuals are empowered to denounce acts that happen against the right and demand to rewards, rewards of the damaged cost. Um, despite of the former state statement, the person initiative to achieve sustainable development, it is worth mentioning the current contradictions to can to can to consolidate with economical models. Fires, for example, explains that wrong practices in Costa Rica have been worse in the environmental crisis. This practice includes extensive stock breeding, agricultural diversification, and in control population growth, linked to urbanization models and unplanned land control, and the Green Revolution that was based on the mass massive usage of agrochemicals, machinery, and other supplies and technologies used in different countries. The author also mentions that by the time the Spaniards came to Costa Rica in 152, 15 of two, more than 96% of the territory was forest. By 1940, deforestation reached 30%, and by 1991, the figure became, became 73%, a fact that was affected, a fact that, that has affected ecosystems. Regarding this issue, several noteworthy not environmental protests, Exam for example, Water in Sardinal, that is, water in Sardinal, and against the expansion of the pineapple industry, as you can see in this, in this moment, and against 
revealed contradiction and limits to national self-construction of Costa Rica as an environmental, environment friendly paradise. The opposition and resistance are clear, not by initiative of political subjects that have originated social movements. movements. These kinds of, of collective acts stand for the relationship with previous conflicts. The resulting initiative have been endorsed by diverse community groups and they <coughs> imply groups, movements, on international organizations. Many communities have arranged opposition moments, moment, movements to express the discomfort because of the loss, loss of natural resources, pollution and danger, dangers or contradiction in regards to environmental issues. This is the case of the Frente Nacional de Sectores Afectados por la Solución Piñera of Renazap, a movement of people from lands affected by pineapple plantations. Since it represents a way to meet demands and, re and concerns, the concerns of those who are affected by the national economic activity. Um, these situations bring up inconsistencies to the ecological imaging intended in, domes in domestic and foreign territory. Um, maybe one of the worst situations occurs in 1994 for, uh, when four environmental activists were murdered. Um, this happened as a result of the struggle again against the Stanford study. This is described in two books by Helen Van Homberg. One of the books is No Stone Unturned, Building Blocks of Environmentalist Power versus Transnational Industrial Forestry in Costa Rica. And the other one is Guerrero del Golfo Dulce, Warriors, Warriors of Golfo Dulce. Golfo Dulce is part of Costa Rica, you can see in, in that map. They had a, a, a struggle to avoid the the forest, the, to avoid the trans transnational uh, contamination, and they were murdered. But they had very important um, roles in the in a eco. That was the the association that they that they are part. Um, by determining potential environmental hazard through effective key organized work, many activist lives, lives have been threatened. Um, this was 16 years old, and uh, the um, association they they were part is were called because yeah, because it's not working right now. Was Association Ecologista Costa Ricense or Costa Rican Ecologist Association. They died in unsolved fire. Three of the members, three of the four people that were were murdered, uh, died in a in a unsolved fire. Their house was burned, and some months some months later, one pe one person more um, was find was found uh, dead in a street. And the victims were um, the coordinator of environmental education, the coordinator of campaigns, and the executive director. Um, so all of them were carrying out an important work in defense of the environment. So they were uh, key person, key people in the in that association. Based on the former facts, identity not only the official discourse. But is also, but also on his questioning, it has been only part of the activist role who try to reveal some of the concern to challenge Costa Rica discourse, discourse that shows Costa Rica as a perfect, perfect example of environmental matters. Some of the main topics in their arguments are megatourism and coast, hydro resources, resources, environmental policies protected areas and biodiversity, extractive industries, energy, and waste. As you can see, there are a lot of struggles in this moment. In summary, from 2000 and 2006 to, 2000 to 2010, there were more than 25 laws that affect the environment. Many of them affected coast areas, 
other gave, in, gave national interest to destructive projects. For this, this dichotomy, community organization is a crucial aspect. Uh, um, as Futter said, contemporary social struggle is a result of the structural and conjunctural aspect due to the mirror of movements and organization. These facts are four issues that affect welfare, the right to cultural identities, human rights, and democracy that have led to, to new ways of, of expression and social space, spaces. Community spaces are key for this activity. So uh, we have another example of, of uh, strategies, strategies that, that we have had in Costa Rica to um, potentiate tourism. For example, uh, Instituto Costa Rica de Turismo has a certificate for touristic sustain sustainable. But all of these examples that I have had uh, shows that Costa Rica is not an ecological place. So position regarding the defense of nature in Costa Rica, the big multiple, multiple contradiction of this matter. Conservation is no longer the main objective. And this evidence shows that the green Costa Rica may be questioned.